championship after championship after championship, there's one thing in common for UConn, fan support. In a marquee matchup of two Blue Blood programs in UConn and Arizona, the Huskies instilled hope back into the UConn fandom. The old school heart and passion of UConn basketball was back with the sold out crowd pumped up. UConn and Arizona were in a tight, run and gun offensive battle, mostly relying on small ball post play. Teams combined for six for 23 from downtown. Down low for UConn, Eric Cobb was a power, fighting for rebounds and making his first five field goal attempts for 10 points. Sid Wilson sparked a run to put UConn within one after he net the team's first three-pointer of the game. UConn was far from down and out, only trailing four at halftime with the crowd roaring. The crowd did a great job keeping us in the game. It was like a six person on the court. Uh, it was very loud and I appreciate the fans for everything they did. UConn came out fierce after halftime looking for a team effort on both ends. The game took a turn with questionable calls against UConn pulling the momentum away. The Huskies' defensive breakdowns and offensive miscues played right into Arizona's hands. Turnovers killed the Huskies, a few of them in critical moments. But this is like a mistake game. You've got to eliminate the mistakes, a possession game, and we just you, you can't turn the ball over 19 times. Tyler Polly's back-to-back -back threes put UConn Nation on edge, but Arizona once again capitalized on free throws in the final minute. UConn's late efforts came up just short, dropping the game 72-76. to 76. The hard-nosed loss is just the second on the season, currently sitting at 6-2, but it gave a glimpse into the future that is Dan Hurley basketball. UConn will host Lafayette this Wednesday back in Hartford. From the XL Center for UCTV Sports, I'm Ryan Kim.